the Hartley High Rejects. Rejects. <laughs> Rejects, yeah? Oh, mate, mate, come on. Yeah, no, mate. leave. Mate, Ignore every them. school's got their resident loud mouth meathead. Carefully, mate. You stay away from Nikki or face the consequences. Understand? He's all right. It's just a okay. little bit shaken up. Don't you do anything but train winners, train. Not sure what losers do. You want to feel me? In? Yeah. Yeah. Cut, cut, man. What are you doing? I was open back there. Why didn't you pass it to me? What? I was open back then, why didn't you pass it? Well, I didn't see you. Oh, crap, man. Well, if I'd passed it to you, you would have dropped it anyway. You are so full of it, Kurt. Oh, you are so full of it, Kurt. All right, let's hit the showers. Now they're scored. Good one. Your keys, please. Step out of the castle. Been noticing it, actually. A bit of road rage there, mate. What? Don't you even have central locking? <laughs> Who'd want to steal it now anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bet Daddy's screwing about the lights as well, huh? <laughs> Have you told him yet? So I can get you a deal on the panel beach. Get your right? hands off. Ooh, man. Maybe it's... they could do your face at the same time, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you get any funnier, Dennis, and I'm probably going to wet myself. Hey, come on, guys. Man. Hey, take what? it easy. Just... Skeppers gets the rebound. He lays it in. Huh? You like that? Right. Hey. What's the problem, man? You like that? What do you want to do about Barnett? We don't want to blab into the holes. Do what you want. Hey, listen, mate. I saved your backside back in there. You were the one throwing the punches. So tell her. What? I'm not going to do that. So don't tell her. Just don't do me any favours. What is your problem? Look, I've got more important things to worry about than this crap. Stay out of my way. We should swap positions. Kurt's a natural centre. I'm a pivot. You're a centre. I'm mate. a pivot. Hey, all right. Who's coach here? Six on legs. Very nice set of pegs. So now you've painted white lines, Skeppers. I know you're good at snorting white lines, mate. Grow up, Dennis. All right. What's your guy, man? I never thought you'd stick up for him. Don't ever assume anything about me, all right? Ooh, get industry out. man. Yeah, get it. Tough guy. Get back to your boyfriend. Yeah. I don't agree. I saw this girl on the street this morning asking for food or money. It wasn't her fault. I mean, she didn't ask to be poor and hungry. We should eradicate all urban poverty. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stay on your feet, mate. That's the idea, mate. Focus. Yeah, balance. right, on, Lachlan. Yeah, balance. okay. What? What is your problem, Lachlan? Now, what's with all the aggro? Look, Anita, if you start giving handouts to those ferals, you'll never get rid of them. Don't call on that, Kurt. Lachlan, did you ever think that maybe they want to cooperate with you? Maybe they Grow want to help up. you? You shut up, would you? Look, we won't know until we ask them. You're real, mate. I never would have picked you to be someone who goes weak at the knees when it's time for action. Well, what's your planning, mate? It's just plain thuggery, all right? Looks like you might have started it off a bit too high. Yeah, well, Kurt says there's no point unless you can feel it. <laughs> no pain, no gain, eh? Bit of a cliche, though. You two are really serious. Two days now. Yeah, well, you're not the only one who can lift dumbbells. No, it's no big deal. What makes you think you're so special, eh? Huh? You think you know everything. Look, back off, mate. You back off. Look after him. Kurt's feelings are hurt. Oh, shut up, would ya? OK, so you won. This time. Who OK, cares? OK, both of you, cut it out. Good fun, eh? <sighs> yeah, if you say so. You did well, Kurt. Persevere with it, mate. It's worth the effort. Bye. What a tosser. So what do you do then? It's more what he didn't do. What? You had nothing to be jealous of, Kurt. Paul's gay. Tommy, Kurt. There after all the hard work we've done, why don't you? Here, aren't I? You okay? Fine. Something happened. We need to talk crap with a truck. I was only concerned. You'll don't be. Come on. Fine. 
Whatever you say. Yeah. Homosexuals are a good example. Don't. What are you talking about? Well, they're one thing and pretend to be something else, and I don't think that's fair. People aren't being dishonest just because they don't wear placards around their necks stating their sexual preference, Kurt. Well, that is crap. They are being dishonest. You know? This is the age of AIDS. I want to know who the poofters are. Oh, that's enough of that sort of talk. Hold it! You humiliated him. Oh, how could I humiliate him, Nate? No one knows what he really is. Come on, Joe. Let's go with you. Big girl, what was that? Oh, baby! Oh, wow, what a... Oh. Oh. What's your story, man? Get off me! Hey, what is your problem? I was only joking. Don't have a joke about things like that, all right? Things like what? We need to talk. I don't think so. What is your problem, mate? You're my problem, Paul. You and all your lies. You ever heard of homophobia, Kurt? Oh, would you cut the crap? You people make me sick, you know? You always want to claim that everyone's gay, don't you? Yeah? Well, that's confusing. Why don't they just call it a cooler? Exactly. And this? Carburetor. Yeah, it's the oil thingy. Dipstick. Kurt, there's nothing to be rude about this. Not you, Sarah. This. It's called a dipstick. Chicks and cars are a lethal combination. I beg your pardon? Women drivers, right? Now I know where you guys get your reputation from. Well, for your information, Kurt, women drivers under 25 are much safer than the male equivalent. There is no male equivalent, Sarah. You will never find a guy who will change gears like you just did. Are you right? Yeah, so what did you expect? It was my first time behind the wheel. I didn't expect you to wreck my dad's car. I said I would pay if there was any damage. Look, just forget it, Sarah, OK? Yeah, I think you'd have a great future as a crash test dummy. I'm very lucky that wasn't a person. Yeah, well, theoretically, that was, OK? Weren't you looking? Yes, I was looking. I just got distracted for a couple of seconds. You cannot get distracted when you're driving, Anita. You could have killed someone. Don't yell at me, Kurt. Great. Look at this, OK? My dad is going to kill me. I'm sorry. You're bloody hopeless, you know that? <laughs> Rack off, smash. <laughs> Kurt. Get out of my face. It's not her fault. Oh, and don't you try and pretend you didn't enjoy it, too. But you Kurt, I is... don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? Yeah, director says you're a natural. That you are, a mate. natural that you jerk, are. okay? Oh, you're talking about Anita? Yeah, yeah. she just got out of your car. Yeah, yeah. What? You gonna stay away from her? Oh, mate, push. Oh. You deaf, are you? Yeah. Push off! Ah! Oh. As I said, stay away from my girlfriend. Listen. She better be good, not sick like that one. Yeah. She better be good, I'm serious. That is Kurt. I just want you out of my face and off the court. First person to win three points gets sole use of the court for whatever purpose. Is this? Fair enough. 
Or don't you think you're good enough to beat me? Oh, no. I'm good enough to beat you. Yeah. Of course. Ready? Ready, babe. What in June's job? Just down the bridge. Come on. You got a problem with me? Don't bag me out in class. At least be enough of a man to say to my face. I say I'm saying it's your face now. What are you going to do about it? Knock your head off your shoulders? Oh, <laughs> really? You know what the problem with you is? Oh, what's that? Enlighten me. Well, if you can't have something, you've got to spoil it for everyone else. Okay? What goes around comes around, Jason. Just exactly what are you crapping on about here? History, ours, watching in the future. Oh, forgive me. Yeah, sure. She's not bad, eh? And now, our third and final lucky contestant is... Killer Kurt! Yes! Sees Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with you, mate? Nothing. Yeah, right. Pass it here. On the burst, mate. What are you doing? What'd you do that for? You won the play, didn't you? you know, Esther's from a different world, but there's parts in it that you really feel like you can connect with it, you know, like you really know what they're going through. Oh, how could you? That's bull, Sarah. Shut what up, is wrong with you? I felt like crying. Yeah, well, I feel like crying when I think about the trees they chopped down to print this garbage. Kurt, didn't you have any emotional response to it at all? Why? I mean, this chick was just a sicko who played victim. Okay, she stuck her head in an oven as a cry for help. Except she wasn't worth helping, was she? You know? Best thing for a case like that, I'd turn on the oven. Psycho. That is so insensitive, Kurt. Well, what would you know, Sarah? Kurt, stop! What the hell's got into you? I'm just telling you how I see it. What, by putting down and insulting your friends? They have no idea what they're talking about in there. Can't you see that? They're simply offering opinions on a text. Look, they're idiots commenting on crap. You are going to lead a sad and lonely life if you treat your friends like that. Friends? My friends just have to stay out. Well, aren't they? Look, what, what's it got to do with you anyway? I'm trying to help what, you. What, are you trying to be my friend? I'm trying to understand how such a moving book can have no emotional impact on you whatsoever. <laughs> Is that emotional enough for you? Ah! 15 seconds to go! Go, mate! Go! You're doing well! Seven seconds! Six! Five! Four! Hey, don't be cheeky. Rack off. You think this is funny that Sarah's pregnant? You think it's something to boast about? You're an idiot, Dennis. Right. Having a kid's a serious thing. Yeah, well, you should have thought about that earlier. What would you know, Kurt? Well, I know about condoms, right? Yeah, but I keep striking out with the chicks, mate, you know? I'm missing out on things. Experiences. What experiences? Promise not to tell anyone? Yeah, I promise. I'm still a virgin. Remember what we were talking about yesterday, man? What about you being virgin? Keep your voice down, man. What are you trying to do to me? Huh? Sorry. Yeah, about me striking out with the chicks. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Uh... <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna do this once and once only, just for you. Yeah, once is all it takes, man. Whoa. That's sick, man. Hold that for a second. Huh? That was sexy. <clears throat> Now, if you wish to waste your week with hijinks in that precious week before your finals, I can't stop you. But I will not have the reputation of a school being brought down, OK? Now, you listen to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. These people. You think 
the HSC was the only thing happening in the world. This place is heading for one huge nervous breakdown! Just a little more constructively this close to exam. What are you talking about? We are using it constructively.